Hi everyone, welcome to another update from Parkinson's Queensland. I'd like to start by thanking all of you who are caring for someone with Parkinson's. This week is Carers Week. Uh, we've just come back from a fantastic event that we co-hosted with Wellways Carer Gateway, celebrating the work that carers do. Now, for many of you, becoming a carer of a loved one is something that happened by circumstance. Your loved one, your partner, your sibling, your parent, was diagnosed with Parkinson's and you found yourself in the position of having to care for that loved one. So it isn't something that we necessarily choose, but it is something that I know all of you are very committed to and very passionate about. So thank you for the amazing work that you do. Thank you for looking after your loved ones. Thank you for the amazing contribution that you make to the Parkinson's community. Um, and of course, we are here for you as carers, as well as for people living with Parkinson's disease. And there are programs like the Carer Gateway program funded by the federal government that if you haven't accessed, uh, I suggest you jump online, type in Carer Gateway and have a look at what is available to you as a carer. So thank you for the amazing work that you do. Um, I also wanted to thank our fundraisers and our runners, walkers in the bridge to Brisbane for a phenomenal effort over 200 people took part representing Parkinson's Queensland, raised over $22,000, an amazing effort. Thank you, everyone. We hope that you'll come back and do it again next year. And hopefully we'll have a few new additions to the Parkinson's Queensland team for those that perhaps couldn't make it this year. So thank you, wonderful effort. Um, it, you know, it, it's, it's about participating and being part of a movement, and that's what we are. We are a movement. We're trying to raise awareness of Parkinson's disease in the community, and this was a perfect way to do that. So thank you for your support. Uh, I also wanted to remind you, of course, that uh, in August next year, we're hosting the Lara Pinter Trek, and we've already got a number of people registered to take part. We are limited to 20 places, so if it is something that you would love to do, might be on your bucket list, uh, get in early, register. Um, we, the team here at Parkinson's Queensland and the team at Inspired Adventures will guide you through what you need to do, but get in early. Um, obviously, if you're intending to trek, you'll need to train. Um, it is 65 kilometres over four days, six days in total with a day e either side in Alice Springs and a four day trek covering about 65 kilometers. So it is quite manageable through some stunning countryside, probably some of the most beautiful countryside uh, in central Australia. Um, and you know, there are a couple of challenging paths like Mount Sonder, but nothing that's, um, that's insurmountable. So if you are interested, if that's something that you'd love to do, uh, then please jump online and register. Uh, and of course, on Tuesday, November the 21st, we are hosting our Advanced Parkinson's Seminar. We are almost at capacity, so we can only have 140 people in the room. That is the maximum capacity that we can take. Um, we've sold over 120 tickets, so if you are keen to attend, please don't wait any longer because once we've sold out, that's it. Unfortunately, we can't take any more registrations. So. Uh, if you haven't registered, you've probably only got a couple of days before we reach that capacity. Jump online, ring the office, uh, book in because we will reach capacity in the next couple of days. So um, please don't miss out if it is something that, uh, that you really want to attend. Uh, and finally, of course, uh, if there is anything that we can do in terms of support, information, you want to talk to our Parkinson's nurse, Steph, uh, for, or if, uh, for example, um, your colleagues at work, you might be working and your colleagues at work want to learn more about Parkinson's, give us a call. We're always happy to go out and talk to organisations about what Parkinson's is and how they can help and support their workmates um, or their uh, residents if it's an aged care facility. So do get in touch with us. We're more than happy to go out and do presentations and, um, and raise awareness of Parkinson's disease. And of course, to all of you, we're here to help you. So please don't hesitate, pick up the phone, send us an email, and uh, we'll be glad to provide you with that support. That's all from me for this week. I hope you have a wonderful rest of the week. Bye for now.